Right, let's take a look at combinations. Now again here, remember, arrangement does not matter. That is considered just the same as that. It's just the same four letters. But we now have a new formula, okay? So remember, because these two are considered to be the same, we end up with fewer combinations than permutations. Now, the hardest thing about this is deciding which is a combination and which is a permutation. Um, again, let's look at this. Five members of a city council, three-person committee. Now, is it a permutation? Is it a combination? It's saying down here that the problem is not a permutation because we're interested only in the makeup of the committee, not the order in which the names are listed. Right, so again, so N is going to be five and R is going to be three. Okay? Might become clearer in question 12 when we do the ice creams. So you would just do this. So five factorial on the top, uh, five take away three factorial, three factorial, which is five factorial over two factorial, three factorial. Now think about this. Those two numbers on the bottom, two and three, add up to the five. Remember that one. Okay, you can put this in calculator. Now be careful. This is where students make mistakes. I know it says multiplication here in the formula, okay? But it's this. It's a five factorial. You divide it by the 2 factorial. See what that is in your calculator. Then divide it by 3 factorial. This is still on the denominator. It's been divided. Don't put this here as a multiplication. That will be the answer, OK? Right, let's take a look at question 11. Right, again, so this is N, 12 flavours, uh, R is 3. In other words, think about this. This is a bit clearer. I'm going to pick 3 flavours from a shop that carries 12. If I pick strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, does it matter if it's vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, chocolate, st whatever? It doesn't matter. Okay, it's still those three flavors on the ice cream. So, right, we're gonna have, I'm just gonna erase this up here and have some space again. So for this one, we know that N is 12 and R is three. Now, once you've got that and you know it's a combination, then you just put it into the formula. 12 factorial, all over, now what's that? That's 12 minus three factorial over 3 factorial, okay? So that's 12 factorial over 9 factorial, 3 factorial, okay? And again, think that 9 and the 3 adds up to 12. And again, you can just go 12 factorial divided by 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial. I can show you the shortcuts if I want to, but that's it in your calculator, okay? Um, right, let's keep on going. That was the ice cream one. Oh, I'm going to take a look at, um, okay, so let's take a look at, because we didn't combine it, this one here, that's obviously a permutation, that's a permutation, okay, this is a combination, all right, it's still 3 out of 20, so again, this is N is 20, R is 3, so I would just do this, 20 factorial over 20 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial, and that is 20 factorial over 17 factorial, 3 factorial. And again, that's 17 and 3. That'll add up to 20, just with just that. But remember what this is. These are big numbers. That is 20 times 19 times 18, blah, blah, blah. This is 17 times 16 times 15, blah, 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 with a 3 times a 2. That's all, all, so all this is, okay? But you just put it in your calculator. Um, that's all you need to do for that one, yeah, because that was a combination. Now then, the best one to deal with, of course, is let's take a look at the lottery. Look at these bottom down here, Okay. So, uh, Powerball odds, choose 5 from 69. That is a combination. And that is a combination, okay? So we're going to do two different ones. Now, then, 5 from 69. Again, remember, it doesn't matter the order when we pick these balls. That's why it's a combination. So we're going to have 69 factorial over, okay, what's 69 take away 5? That's 64 factorial with a 5 factorial. Now, I'm going to multiply by the second little combination. Now, 1 from 26 is just 26. You get 26 different numbers, OK? But you can think of it like this as well as a combination. It's 26 factorial over 26 minus 1, which is 25 factorial with a 1 factorial, OK? And that will give you 26. This will give you 26, OK? But let's take a look at the big one. Now, you can go ahead, please go ahead and try this and look it up on Google. It'll say the odds, the probability of winning the Powerball, the probability of winning the Mega Millions. And if you look at it, you're going to get this number. So here we go. 69. All right, look at my calculator going. Right, 69 factorial 
divided by 64 factorial, I'll just enter that, equals, it's about 1 billion, okay, divide it by 5 factorial equals, okay, that looks, that looks like about 11 billion, okay, that's what I've got on my calculator, but I'm going to multiply it by 26 equals, right, I have 292, 201, 338, that is... 292,201,338 different combinations. In other words, the probability is 1 in 292 million, okay? Check it out on Google if you want to say the probability of winning the Powerball. Mega millions will be just the same. I think it's just over 300 million. Try it yourself, okay? N is 70, R is 5, okay? And of course, look at this one. This is going to be 25. You're going to end up multiplying by 25 on this one because it's 1 of 25 at the end, okay? Try it yourself. It's something like 302 million, I think. So it's a little bit more. Mega millions, a little bit more combinations than Powerball. Uh, that's it, folks. So again, the remember is the hardest bit is just deciding if it's a combination or a permutation.